Hey guys, it's Roshan, and today I'm showing you a review on the HTC One M8. So, I um, today is I don't know when I'm gonna post this, but today is February nineteenth, Wednesday, of two thousand fourteen, and it's this phone is not out yet. I get the phones released earlier because I'm sponsored. But here, so this is the HTC One, the regular HTC One. I'm just gonna cover those up, and that's how it looks. One camera flash. That's how it looks. The top, and I feel like this is screwing the camera up here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Here, I have other stuff there, and that's reviews. Okay, so I'm gonna take out the HTC One M8 now. So this is the HTC One M8. Put them by side by side, and there you go. Let's cover that too. Oh, God, cover that. They look similar in design, except at the top, that's the top, and you can see this top, they have one, two cameras, and the flash is different. Oh, what did I just do? And then you can see there's one, the sensor has moved, and then there's a speaker still there, and then the buttons down here are not there anymore, that are down here, they're gone. They are not on screen. So let's go ahead and get into it. So this is how it looks here. So here's blink feed. It's not focusing on it here. Blink feed. Right now, I am actually moving items because I want to move them. And yeah, okay. So, this actually has an SD card slot right there. People would think that's the SIM card because on this phone it's there. But no, the SIM card's right there. It's nano SIM, I believe. I don't know. Okay. So, it's really smooth. Oh, I didn't even know that. Well, it's running since 6.6. .6. If I go into settings, it will not show. Here, go to settings. I can go to about. And I'm T-Mobile, not at and Just saying. So, we can go into software information. And it says protected. Because I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to. Um, I don't know why they protected it, but they protected it. And I'm having system loggers on right now. Okay, so the book design of this phone is really nice. The button pop up this time because a lot of people argued about it. Look at the top, I like that. And the headphone jacks on the bottom. It still does have Beats Audio, I believe. And I have a lot of songs here I want to try here. I, I didn't just test this yet. I don't have... Oh, there you go, maybe. Yo! That's how it sounds on there. Let's take my regular thing. I feel like the Beats audio is not in there anymore, so... Sorry about that. My battery on this is dying. Here, I'll just type in the sign. Okay. Okay, I actually... That sounds much better to me than this. That sounds like... What? I mean, super so... Yeah, okay, so I feel like the Beats audio is still on here. I don't know if it's in here, but they have Beats music. Right there, beats music. But, yeah. So, this is practically what it is. It's really nice. Um, I want to get into the camera, because the camera is one of the main parts of it. So, I'm going to take both cameras out. Is it even on? Okay, so... As you can see, this is a regular camera. It's really nice though. 
and then let's pop up this camera. And this camera is actually really nice. Like, I'd say it's like, yeah. wait, what? It keeps crashing for me right now. I do not know why. Maybe because this is the developer version. But see, look at how nice it is. Oh, uh, you can't see it right there. But this camera is really nice. And it's so... Here. Let me just try fixing this. I'm just going to shut the camera app down. And this is the Dell of... Uh, Let's just wait for that. So the screen size, we can go over that really quick. That's mu new multitasking. So let's open up the camera. And the camera is actually different from the old one. Look at how nice this is. It is beautiful. Let's get a... I'm going to get my case in there. This takes really nice pictures. I don't. I actually don't know what the second camera's for on top, but here they have selfie. I, I don't know why they made the selfie. Dual capture, which is a pretty cool thing, where instead there's gonna have two, so you can see me right there, and it's actually pretty nice. Let's go back to the home, and my phone's gonna die, so I'm gonna put this away. Okay, so another good thing about this, or something like, they removed that so you have more room of the screen, and here, hmm. and yeah, here, let's check the performance, so if I open up a kick and I just sh check it because I don't want you to see my mess messages, here we can go, hmm, let's open up mm, YouTube. So there is a problem with the HTC One. I don't know if it's with yeah. It might be with this one too. It it takes longer for YouTube to load up. Let's go to YouTube. Actually, that was pretty fast. But yeah, let's check it out. Here. Google, ready, set, go. Did I? Yeah. See, there's, it's a little delayed. But. Again, this is developer's vision, and we can see. Like, I don't want to get copyright, but it's a really nice display. Uh, it's really nice here. I kind of miss these buttons, though. Okay, so overall, I give the HTC One M8 a 10 out of 10, cause it's just like the HTC One, and I love the HTC One. I have Ghost Armor on this. But this camera is just spectacular. Here, I'm going to get another thing. I will un unbox, maybe. And it just gets its spot on. It kind of is different on the camera than this. But it gets its spot on. It's really nice. And this is the Moga controller. I actually had two of them. One's already open. And I'm going to do a review on that, too, of course. Pocket edition. So, so overall, the HTC One M8 has really nice design. It's really good. They fixed the front facing camera. They fixed every cam the camera issues. Blink feed is actually really cool now. If you can s switch it, see, it's actually really c cool. And I love the sound effects now. Let's check how loud. This has a better vibration right now, I guess. But yeah, overall, the M8 is pretty nice. The screen size is a little bit bigger. I think it's 5.0. This is 4.7. Uh, let's cover that up. You can see those lines straight down here. The flash here. I didn't take a. I need to take a picture. Let's take a picture of. There's a lot. There's kind of a lot of dust on this. Let's open it up. Let's. Take a picture. Oh no, it's on dual mode. I don't know. Is this, this it? Yeah. Okay. So I don't want this review to be like super long, but I'm going to close the camera app because it's not cooperating. What I like is uh, uh, developer versions aren't the best right now here. 
while that happens, let's keep that to the side. Let's go into the HTC One and see some differences. Now, in since 6.6, .6, we now have you can add more of these, and it's really nice because yeah, it's open back. Let's go back to there. I don't like the new clock display though. Okay, we'll open up the camera and change the mode to just regular mode. Camera. Okay. So, actually, I really like how the picture looks right now. Let's. No, I want to take it with flash on. Whoa, I don't, I don't know if you saw that. I didn't even see that. That was quick. Okay, so let's open up the picture. I want to show. Oh, it's not a bad picture. It has all the detail of everything. It actually. I'm zooming in all the way in, and it still has the detail. This camera. Out of a 10, I give it 9, no, 8.7. No camera is over a 9 for me. Even the Galaxy S3, 4. This is better than S4, I can say. Lumia, never tested. I tested it once. I didn't like it, but I can't be a fanboy of HTC, so. Because I'm a review guy. Yeah, so guys, I want to thank you for watching. I want you to comment, rate, subscribe. Here's the differences of them. Um, size differences it looks similar right so I like you guys to comment rate subscribe you know share this video I know you there's probably not that many reviews of this I'm not gonna post a by rate because I think it's unfair to the developers of the HTC M8 but I guess if I see other reviews I'll do it so guys thanks for watching see you later